got Nancy I Kerrigan. I always wondered why people brought her up. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, she was going to run off with yeah. the title, bro. So Nancy Kerrigan, no, no, Nancy Kerrigan was going to run off with the title. So Tanya Harding was hired, yeah, to get some, but she couldn't do it herself because she was out skate dancing. So she hired some dude to <laughs> bust that bitch's legs, and then boom, 1994. Oh, okay. Bust that yeah. broad's leg. Yeah, it's I was a, four years old, so. It's almost exactly That's why I don't remember Iron that. Sheik and Hulk Hogan. When Varun Ganya wanted to pay Iron <laughs> Sheik. He beat Hulk that Hogan jabroni's back. ass. Took a wide yeah. power stance. Yeah. His Twitter is fire. <laughs> Let me pull up the Iron Sheik's Twitter real quick. That oh, I just a, opened a database. God damn it. Randy, now that you don't drink or do drugs, you should have a weekly segment where you read, you know, several of the Iron Sheik's tweets and we can make bumpers. I just, that just, boom. I think that's good. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So that's a million Can I do it in idea. an offensive, in an offensive tone? That's another. Yeah. Hi, well, I'm the Iron Sheik. No, yeah. I, I don't know how to do an Iron <laughs> Sheik voice. You don't sound offensive. No, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see here let me put this in. i got this new giant that's the iron cheek the non-offensive iron Thank you. Hi, hold on is that better does that sound like the iron cheek nope that sounds like you just um with some audio uh, effects better now nope here i can i can add some reverb now you sound like you're far far how about away. how about now no none okay. of this sounds like a, a middle eastern man Oh, okay. Iron. <laughs> Shit. Why is a bunch of reverb Iron. reverb supposed to sound like a Middle Eastern man? I, I don't. I yeah, don't that's offensive as fuck, man. That's. I'm not sure how that, those two uh, make the it. Twitter fuck with my profile. Fuck them forever. Uh, yep. <laughs> that's what he said. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna start this tonight. Zero Red following. He follows zero people. <laughs> fuck the Iron Cheek. See, Ray, Matt's got a gaming chair. That's why he's good at video games. Yeah, he is. He is yep. extra good. <laughs> he's, he was good before. Yeah. He got the gaming chair. Took it to the next level. Yeah. I'm the he most is, good he is the gamer of the core of the group. No, <laughs> I'm hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasized on the hot part, though, oh, yeah, <laughs> brother. Yeah, Randy no longer uh, drinks or does any type of uh, substance. Um, boring. Yeah, thanks, thanks to you guys. Boring. You guys. You guys. Oh, ruined. sorry. <laughs> I was out of here. What? No, I made those decisions. Uh, wife me right now. I still have the I Heart oh. Pecker. Is your wife uh, calling? You? Shot glass around <laughs> here somewhere. Why is she calling you? Uh oh. Put it on yeah, speaker. No, okay. <sighs> Come on, Ray. Yeah, she's calling the mule. You're gonna hold out on everyone else. Yeah, that works. Ram, you're a man that knows a little bit about video editing and okay. stuff, right? Oh, Very little. What's up, man? Cool. What can I help he knows with? enough to ask oh, Cody oh, to do like, it. Yeah. Just like, well, like, you know, like can- <laughs> cam replacement. You want you put your face in the center of that bad boy. Okay, motherfucker. I don't need you like, and Dylan telling me about my setup, all right? I'm going to spend tomorrow. I'm, I'm redoing this whole shit, okay? I, I'm redoing everything. I got I got a I love your sad green me. screen. Fuck <laughs> all of you. All right. All right. I'm, You're a hot prince of men. It's fine. I'm an audio I'm just guy. trying to maximize your hotness. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. The audio guy. No, um, you know, face for audio. All right. Let's uh let's do the intro. It's all about me. Let's let's have fun tonight. Ray, you good to go? Okay. Oh, I yeah, let's yeah. do it before I crash right. and burn. Get get another beer in you. <laughs> we used to do a World of Warcraft advice podcast. He even did the original Drunken podcast, changing the game and influencing a generation of podcasters. But he was disgraced, accused of crimes he never committed. Shamed, he disappeared. By the grace and generosity of Mr. Rich Dickman, he was raised again. Seconded by his co-host, definitely not main host, Ray Rem Dickman has returned, sexier and more handsome than ever. This is The Rich Dickman Show, the greatest podcast ever produced by Rich Dickman with Rem and Ray. Featuring executive producer Randy, producer Ryan, Maddie from Australia, hot drummer news baby, and Svensson. The Rich Dickman Show. 
your slightly better than mediocre podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode 159 of the Rich Dickman Show, the podcast that is slightly better than mediocre. I am your host, Rem. Once again, back at you, with you, in you, your ears, that is, and doing all the things to make me smile. That's really, that's why I do this shit. Anyways, it's with me, uh, with me, here with me. That's the one I want. Uh, drunk off a plane, it is Ray. He made it. Hey, Ray, what's up, buddy? Yo, I am ready to rock and roll. What do we, what do we got on the docket tonight? Not much. Oh, yeah. Much. Well, we can still rock and roll. I don't care. All right, cool. Par- that's party right. Party time. <laughs> yeah. And, and hanging exactly. out in the corner, uh, sober, sober and dry and <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> It's executive producer Randy. Randy, what's up, buddy? Randy, Randy, wake up! I brought your friends. What? Too. What? You know? Oh, oh no! Uh, sorry, I haven't slept in three days. Yeah. So, uh, what? What are we doing? What? What night is it? Yeah, you remember that night you're on Not for Human Consumption podcast? Oh yeah that that was the yeah. night that I really changed the trajectory of my life. <laughs> of your life, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, right out. I, that's when I decided to. Never, yeah, never drink yeah. again. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's just, it, just it changed the course of my life. Just go harder than testosterone, bro. Just go extra hard on that stuff and you'll be fine. <laughs> and joining us oh, tonight, and it's, <laughs> it's been so long since he's been here for, for an actual show. He stopped by for the birthday episode. Um, but it is the, the, uh, the handsome part of Not Freeman Consumption podcast. It is Matt. Matt, what's going on, pal? Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, not much, man. I just got to do it. I literally rushed home from work just to be to hang out with your beautiful faces. Appreciate it. Uh, Ran- Randy, though he's he's not he's not drinking no more. No, he changed the the trajectory no. of his life. Yeah, yeah it's him. completely gone in a in a new direction. Uh, what direction are you going? Boring. I I don't really know. I, uh, shut up, Rim. I'm, I'm trying to buy a house. Uh, you know, like I'm trying to get my shit together. I'm waking up at six, joining the rat race, going to the office. Yeah. Boring. Uh, you know, did you find Jesus in the bottom of that fucking cooler? <laughs> no, no, I'm not that far gone. Jesus. Jesus has not entered my life. I've gone through that phase before and uh, it didn't end Perfect. well. Let's I'm still a member of the oh. church of the Nazarene though. Uh, so am I. I might be an elder. I don't remember. Look at that. Me and We're Ray worried, have something uh, in common. Yeah. <laughs> We're worried when you come back on not freeing consumption, you're just gonna sit there and not talk D- now. Yeah. That's you judge, can't you judge can't you guys. <laughs> like Yeah. You just gotta let him sit there and pipe in every once in a while with something. It's I'm yeah. yeah it's he's your like, fault, Matt. Matt. Matt, is that the third beer you've had? <laughs> third beer already. Already. Uh, oh yeah, my yeah. god. You're like, you're the guest. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt my liver. I wanna I wanna hurt my liver when I podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh well. That's so hey, we're here tonight. We have fun. We got we got heart of heart of games stopping by in a little bit for uh, his fake news. Fake news. The game. We're gonna do that with Matt. That'll be fun. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're we're stocking up on the on the ammunition here to try to defeat Ray because fuck you, Ray. I mean, goddamn. Uh, richdickman.com for all your Rich Dickman needs. Get in there. Check it out. Hey, patrons just released a Rem Ryden. That's out now. And uh, when this episode releases later that day, you will have a brand new. Well. A brand new that's, uh, what's it, four, six, seven years old liquor fueled coming at you. That would be the Rum Chata episode, Ray. Jesus. I don't remember that, but they did the, uh, I think, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we did the bloody, the bloody, the bloody Smurf shots, the bloody Smurf cum. I think that's <laughs> the shot we did or some shit. Yeah. It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> All right. So Should let's, I play let's... it right now on the show through my phone? No. no would Randy, that be good? Would that be good audio? No. Randy, it's, it wouldn't be good audio through your phone. Stop it. <laughs> but then everybody could hear it, not just the patrons. Okay, yeah. that's not how that's not how this works. Boot, that's how bootlegs work, dude. That's how fucking Metallica made it back in the early '80s, brother. <laughs> fucking bootleg live shows, parking lots, stadiums. Matt, you, you remember record remember stores, shit. right? You're an old guy. Yeah, yeah. Like that's how I, mm-hmm. I would get off the. I would take the the uh, the transit bus, not the school bus. I would take the transit bus home from high school, and the bus station was right yeah. next to this little stupid like indoor mall that we had in Crackberry Junction. And inside there was mm. a Record Express, <laughs> right? And I would walk into the Record Express, and I would go to the S's, and I would dig through and find the Smashing Pumpkins, and I would find all the bootlegs, and I would I collected so many different Perfect. live recordings. It was fucking awesome. I miss record stores. <laughs> 
Dude, um, I'm old and I know what record stores are. And I used to, my old bands to promote, didn't have money as a kid. We'd steal the two song demo tapes they'd put up next to the register. We'd just steal the whole sleeve, <laughs> go home, nail polish remover off the band's oh, information, nice. cut little pieces of, uh, write our band name with the song titles and a phone number. <laughs> And scotch tape it to each side and then put the scotch tape over the holes and record our demo on it and then go put that sleeve wow. back next to the register. Holy shit. That's how you, hu- that's how you hustle, brother. That's yeah. Really, gotta tell you. Elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> it worked out really well, didn't it? It, it did, dude. That band yeah. was actually a pretty, pretty big deal back oh, in the Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. See, Randy was trying to I don't do that. terrible music. No. No, I, I didn't was. mean to. Was I? I was trying <laughs> yeah, to be I don't boring. Know. He's not drunk now. I don't know if he's my friend. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're friends. <laughs> I didn't mean that in a bad way. Did it sound bad? Uh, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what to do with my hands anymore because <laughs> they're looking for a drink. Yeah, I don't even have water right at the moment. This is bullshit. Oh, well, I love you, buddy. Yeah, sorry, Randy. Holy shit! All right. <laughs> See, you guys broke him. No, no, we, you no. did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You borrowed me and returned me in this condition, Matt. <laughs> if, you, if you broke it, you buy it. All right? You you owe us oh. one one Randy. One Randy. However yeah. many, you know, how many what, dollars that is equivalent to. It's a lot of dollars. When I texted it's, you, about, it's about $4.50. When no, I texted you earlier this week, dad. and I was like, hey, Matt, you know, what are you doing Thursday? Stop by the show. It wasn't to hang out. It was to fucking yell at you for ruining fucking Randy. I mean, goddamn. So <laughs> yeah, it's an ambush. Jesus. Still handsome. It's yeah, an we ambush. spend the next next sixty minutes just yelling at you, just berating you. Just, <laughs> ah, yeah, bring it. That's it. That's the whole show. Bring it on, ah. guys. <laughs> yep. So well, I'm ready for it. Go, Matt. Uh, it's been so long since we've we've yes, sat sir. here and had a had a conversation mm-hmm. about life and and stuff. And it was one episode one hundred six when you last on as a for a full show. So since Shit. then. Like, you've gone through a lot of changes. NFHC has gone through changes. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's going on, man? What's mm-hmm. going on with you? What's going on with the show? Uh, the show's going well. Uh, it's kind of weird. Kind of, it's, I don't know. For me, I feel like it's going better than ever. It's, it feels real smooth every week. There's less anxiety to start it before it. Mm-hmm. For some Even reason. when I get I don't, know that, <laughs> I don't know where that happens. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I moved, went through a divorce. Got better than ever right now, though. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I do want to say, slamming it. Your show yes, has been through so many changes in just the past two years, right? And, oh, yeah. Yeah. And the way you've all been able to rebound Strife. And, and come back yeah. and, and still bring the fucking funny every week, man. I got to hand it to you, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's a big yeah, thing. Um, yeah, I got a lot of respect for you guys. Keep it on going because, listen, you know, I lost Huel and we brought Ray, Ray on board and Randy came on to back him up, right? But if I lost the two of them, I don't know. Would I do this shit solo or would I just fucking quit? I have no idea. But you guys keep going and I love it. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, um, I don't know if that spawns from us uh, all having a musician background or something, because there's always a show must go on. Like, I used to deliver credit card mail in the middle of the night on a graveyard shift, and um, there's a thing at the post office where they have these giant racks and a giant metal shelf that locks in the middle. Oh, you don't say. I had that smash these three these three fingers, and it pushed the sides of all fingernails through the bottom pads. Oh, God. Of oh. my guitar fret, of my guitar fret hand, and I still played a show that night, Jesus sliding savage. the innermost parts of my fingers up baby. and down. Jesus, that's right. So yeah, I guess I've I guess never that's cared about anything keep... that much in my life, and I have a kid. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I played my yeah, one and only no, rock it's, concert it's, with it's, a blister on my finger because I was playing the bass. That's, that's, yeah, I don't know. It's there's very much a just fuck it. Shit's gonna happen. This is fun to do, so just keep going. You know? Nice. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> and you can tell, you can hear. I mean, everybody except Dylan, who's sleeping all the time. But I mean, you and you and Jay are having fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. No, I, I love I, those boys. Yeah, I look forward. Listen, I, I'm a fanboy. All right, I know you are the only one of that show who listens to this one every once in a while. But I listen to you guys every Tuesday. It's the first thing I play when I get in my car at six thirty in the morning, and yeah. uh, and and I, and I well, show it in there. So there you go. Keep. I super appreciate it. And. Don't get offended about those two. Those two don't even listen to podcasts. Yeah, no, please. So, like, like, like in general. <laughs> like I'm gonna let those two affect my life in any way, please. God damn. <laughs> they live rent free in his head, don't worry. Like just, Yeah, I know I'm yeah. texting these guys all the time there's, about it. 
there's always been a will will they won't they kind of uh, relationship with uh, <laughs> our podcast and yours. You know what I mean? A little Sam and Diane dynamic yeah. from fucking Cheers. You know. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people are like, "Do you guys really hate each other?" I'm like, "No." Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here. No, it's more fun that way. If we so, if we loved each other all the time, eh. man, like, I wouldn't bother leaving a voicemail. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. But please. I need to leave more voicemails for you guys because I, 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 I listen all the time, but I just don't yeah, voicemail. Yeah, what the fuck? Up. You missed my birthday last week. <laughs> I know. <I've laughs> I was waiting to say happy birthday to you tonight, though, because oh, I was. I told Rem in a text. So I was like, bro, sweet. I can't wait to be on for, <laughs> for my birthday. Race birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. So. Uh, no, for real. I've said, I think I've said this before, but like back in the MySpace days, just because I mm -hmm. think it's such a joke that everyone makes such a big deal on social media. And this is my space when social media is just taken off. But I would just every month, like the first week of every month, yeah. I would just change it to my birthday. And people would every yeah. month, like the same person six months in a row be like, happy birthday. And you know what I mean? You're like, how fucking stupid are you? Like, how little do you actually care and pay attention? Right. You know what I mean? Like, like you I completely know, removed yeah. it from my just, Facebook I just love because it. I got tired of it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, no, yeah. you know, you're, people Text are just saying to, to make it's it's virtue signaling at its finest. Like, that's yeah. all they're doing. Being like, oh, I'm such a good friend. If I, uh, Whatever. The virtue signaling on social media is pretty yeah. annoying. If I know it's somebody's birthday legitimately or if Facebook reminds me, I like the reminder because I'm a adult male that doesn't know of the color of my male friend's know, eyes is, so yeah. i don't know their fucking i don't know their birthdays dude green but like green eyes if i'm reminded or just remember <laughs> uh, i will send a personalized text to their phone mm -hmm. yes exactly yes. Yeah. i don't That's, i don't that, facebook yeah. message any of my you know immediate family or people that i, I like personally I, I will text them on their birthdays <laughs> i won't even bother with the facebook yeah. bullshit because that means more and then when people don't text me like <clears throat> like my in-laws, right? They they give me a fucking Facebook. That's like, all right, that's a couple demerits in your book. Like, fuck you. Yes. <laughs> couple demerits. You're yeah, they just still keep demerits. Yeah, ledger. Give right. <laughs> me a pink slip yeah. in their locker after yeah. one. Everybody's worried. Everybody's no worried longer about my the Chinese. Everybody's worried about the Chinese social credit system. I got the Rem Dickman social credit system. Okay, <laughs> motherfuckers. Oh, oh yeah. God. And Do you use facial recognition credit, and AI as well? If I have, when the technology is available, I will. Uh, the other day. Uh, oh, it was, Chinese it was, already it was, have it. It was Fitz's birthday, and I texted him, even though he's mm -hmm. dead. I texted him, Rest and maybe he, would, maybe he would respond. I said, happy birthday. Hope it's all is well. Miss dead. you, buddy. And no yeah. response. Nothing. I, got, I get nothing. So, I mean, well, he is dead. dead. Uh, he is yeah. dead. What, it, can you what did you do to this guy? Uh, he yeah, killed him in a canoe accident. accident. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he hit Super a loon tragic. while he was canoeing in fucking northern Maine, and he tipped over and died. <laughs> Uh, all right. Happens. It, happens. it happens to the best it of us. Very... to the best of us. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very buoyant. No. It sucks. No. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I told my wife that. I told her, I said, I texted, I texted. Yeah, and she's like, why would you do that? That guy's a jerk. Why, you know, he hasn't talked to you in like two years. I'm like, because, because fit was when he was alive, a very competitive person. He always had to win whatever it was. Yeah. So in the game of life, when he does eventually come back and respond because he realizes being an asshole, come back to life, I mean, uh, I can say, yeah, I won, motherfucker. I didn't forget your goddamn birthday yeah. once, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, fit, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. We're not, is that not what we're doing? No, that's fine. Uh, okay. It's all good. It's not like you're listening. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. All right. So, it won't be that right, hostile. You of dicks, you'll, you'll, you'll be crying, Rim. You'll, you and Fit will embrace, and the world will be put right. <laughs> you know what? And then you, you and Jules that. will make up the week after, and everything no, will be great. You, you know oh, what's happening yeah. is this. Exactly what is happening. You have what is called the Michael Jordan gene in you, where you use mm. this little thing <laughs> as this massive motivation. It's a little yeah. thing, but it's this big motivation. Just, I'm going to remember every birthday. And like you just said, Randy, they're going to be hugging and crying it out. Rem is going to have... The tears down his face, the new Michael Jordan crying meme. Like, it's yeah. literally all coming from yeah. full circle. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's why I do this yeah. podcast, so I can show him that I didn't need him to <laughs> I begin with. I don't need with. you. I, <laughs> I, don't I need fucking you. figured it out. Yeah, I'm doing this shit. All right. <laughs> so, let, let us, we're going to transition real quick because Heart of Games is here okay. with his fake news, the game. All right. all right. And we told him we had to revamp this. We have five stories. One is, uh, uh, there's five topics. Two, two stories in each. One of them is fake. One of them is real. We just have to guess its headlines, okay? And so we brought Matt here okay. uh, in order to bolster our ranks, mm -hmm. in order to defeat Ray, because because Ray 
That's for you, pal. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty good this game. You, could, you suck it. <laughs> but but All Matt, right. if if you win, you have to defend the championship in our territory. So you have okay. to you have yeah, to come you back and you can't run with the belt. Yeah, you yeah. can't just so, run off with the title. Randy, let's unmute Tank. Oh, shit, let's man. bring him in. Tanks. Done. What's up, buddy? Uh, Heart greetings. of Games, excuse me. Heart of How Games, you doing? yes. What a part. I am the maker of fake news the game. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. So we're gonna get, nice. let's get this show in the what road. What do we got? Everybody, if we got five and this is their first time listening to this show first off welcome secondly this is how the game works i'll be giving you two news headlines one of them is real one of them, one of them is fake it is up to you the listener and mm-hmm. the hosts and the guests to pick out which is the real story we have five rounds five of them have a, each round has a theme tied to each one and whoever gets the most points at the end wins and also yeah. a and excuse me I'm sorry, Randy. Since you're sober, uh, please keep score. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, what? <laughs> yes. Let me open a text document. Go slow, tanks. So, since <laughs> Ray won last last time, New he gets the raise from Rich Dickman. Text document. Now, if Matt wins, uh, Matt will get a uh, man. I just realized all of our names start with R, guys. Matt, <laughs> except for Matt. I, I meant I meant the poor show. Heart. Yeah, I typed it all out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know we overcome adversity while well, Dylan overcomes diversity we'll and I'm going. sober yeah <laughs> all right get all in right, there sir all right first story first topic is Florida man and this is gonna be a fun one uh story number one Florida man attempts to flee police on a hot wheels bicycle well, in story number two Florida man arrested after highway patrol troopers found over 400 pounds of marijuana hidden in ATMs. Wow. So we have a guy trying to get away on a, on a, on a big wheel. Is that what you yep. said? Uh, pretty much on a big wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously that's the true story. I'm going with the big wheel. Sorry. That's, that's the true story. All right. Okay, okay. Randy, what do you got? Hmm. I, I'll differ and go with the ATMs because I think that you could put a lot of weed in an ATM. Because they have all those little bins already. Yeah. You know, weed doesn't weigh that much. So 400 pounds would fit in there pretty easily. A lot of weed. Holy shit. Okay. Matt, as a guest, you get to go before Ray, the asshole champion. I'm thinking the ATMs, man. Okay. Yeah. The, AT- the ATM stuff and them bad boys full of weeds. Yeah. Was that a lightning flicker? It's true. In the- what the fuck's going on in your lighting over there, Matt? Is it just changing on its own? He's just got cool shit oh, in the background. Cool. All right. Go ahead. Just pull, just, just pull. So <laughs> the answer is uh, trying to escape on the Hot Wheels. Uh, stuffing that much weed in uh, ATMs is, first of all, near impossible. And second, what do they find? Like 20,000 ATMs? Like, like how? you know what I'm saying? Like that much weed? Like you got to. No, they're not that elaborate. It's got to be the Hot Wheels. All righty, huh? gentlemen. Big well, two, well, how it works is that half of you are wrong, half of you are right. That's how the statistics go. <laughs> and <laughs> damn, oh, yeah, yeah. bad story for Ray because that because the right story is the 400 pounds of marijuana found no. in ATMs. Fuck. I didn't believe it. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, this Hell guest yeah. paid off already. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Okay. I knew wow. tanks love mm-hmm. weed. A man was arrested last Friday after a Nebraska State Patrol troopers found over 400 pounds of marijuana during a traffic stop. The man was pretty much doing a drug run from Nebraska, and he got caught. Uh, the man, wow. who, man in question is Gilbert uh, Fernandez, age 36, of Cooper City, Florida. That's cartel. Was a risk. Yep. Yeah, he just was, docks that poor guy. God damn, was tanks. A, was a, <laughs> He's in the news. Was arrested, <laughs> arrested for possession of more than one pound of marijuana, possession with intent to deliver, and possession of money right. during a drug violation. Thanks, we, we don't have all night. We can't go through all okay. the stories here. Uh, okay. I still call BS. <laughs> Uh, oh. He's a Taurus. His hair's about <laughs> collarbone length. I'll say this one thing. He also had like nine thousand dollars in, in his front seat in the van in a duffel bag. So it's like, do you want to get it? caught? <laughs> like, yeah, do you? Jesus. Wait, what's where? Where's the four hundred pounds of weed in ATMs though? That's the that's the deciding factor that, here. That's, that's, that's it, where he, it, it's where four hundred pounds of cash would go. He had, that's where he hit it all. He just like ripped off a fucking yeah in the cash holster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cash right. hole. <sighs> yeah. Next. All right. What's the next Story. one, Tanks? All righty. It doesn't matter. We got, uh, we're going to have some 
<laughs> I'm salty, at that salty Ray here. Jesus, it doesn't, add Jesus. Up. It doesn't <laughs> add up. like it's not possible. Yeah, it's physically how, impossible. How, well, like, Ray, it happened. Just say, Hank said quick, it happened. So shut your wise, mouth. Volume okay. wise, how much is 400 pounds of weed? He's he they, in a traffic stop. They found 400 pounds of weed in Ray, ATMs. It doesn't add Ray, up. Calm down. It doesn't add you can up. Still win. <laughs> You can That's still fine. win. We'll okay? move on. I'm just saying, like something, like, something doesn't happen. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're Next trying is. to politic your way to a Ray, win, Ray. Ray. All the flavors, you choose salt. Take the yeah. uh, Ray's take like, the, we got to do it. We got to recount the ballots. <laughs> fake news. No, new election. Fake, <laughs> fake news sniffer. Government, brother. That's going to be our, yeah. uh, All right. our next, <laughs> next story. Next, Let's go. Next, next category. Government, government people. All right. This is going to be international. Mm-hmm. So bear with me. Uh, we have India, India's prime minister builds monument in his honor that costs up to 40 hospitals to pl- to build instead. Or <laughs> Kentucky governor Andy Beshear proposed to make a bill to propose uh, to make August 20th National Beer Day. OK, which is the real fake story is the India is Indian one. We would have heard about that. So what's the real Especially one? Especially with so all the COVID problems. You got, you got to pick the real one's got to be the beer. You have to pick the real story. I did, oh, I have to pick the real one? Okay, the real one is the is the Kentucky governor. Okay. Yeah, I got confused in the rules. Okay, Randy, what's the well, real story? <laughs> I, I'm going to say that the that India prime minister is fucking Trump light. Like, he's pretty crazy. Moby or whatever it is, uh, you know, and like 120 people Moby? are dying every hour over there. Modi or Dude. something. Uh, it, or maybe actually. I'm mixing him up with that international recording artist. But I think that now would be a good time for him to build a statue. So I'm going to go with that one. All right. Matt, what's the real story? The real story has got to be the beer day. It's just something stupid. Yeah. All that little dumb shit goes through all the time. And Ray. So, yeah. so I feel like Kentucky should be, it should be a bourbon day, not beer day. <laughs> so, so something like it, they, like it makes me not want to pick that one, but that one seems more likely. Like I really think that India is the real, but I'm going to go with the Kentucky one, Kentucky governor. Oh. I like your, I like your thought process there, Ray, but I that would that would have me assuming that Kentucky already has a bourbon day, so they're going to add a beer day. Andy Brashear yeah, is yeah. Uh, is an yeah. interesting governor, especially <laughs> you know I mean? during COVID. He came on every day looking like a guidance counselor and was like, "All right, guys, we got to do this together." <laughs> uh, and, you know, Kentucky <laughs> did get through this on uh, yeah national yeah. or sorry state beer day. Say beer and day. he had to Thanks. take an L, Ray. Like he had to come Alrighty. on TV once Everybody. and admit that he was wrong. So, it was pretty great, dude. This, this is gonna be a, people are gonna be upset. Uh, it's the it's the India story. That one is real. Uh, oh, I knew it. <laughs> Shut up. Mon- the monstrous monument of Na- of Narendra's Mo- Modi's ego. As millions suffer in pandemic, yeah. India's narcissistic prime minister is building a vast folly at a cost Told you. that could fund forty major hospitals. Now with his nation, okay. in yep. how uproar. big is this fucking statue, dude? Or, know, right? <laughs> or are hospitals there just made out of like it's just sheet like, metal, it's just a like Coleman tent, <laughs> like a two person. Yeah. You should bring Kristen, and she has been to India. Maybe she can yeah, comment I on guess. the size of their hospitals. Uh, this, this is fucking um, ridiculous. Pretty much, he's doing it to celebrate like seventy five years of independence from Britain, but. Yeah, but they're like they're collapsing <laughs> from COVID know, right, right now in the India, dude. Yeah, 120 Great people Britain. an hour dead. <sighs> they had 500,000 get fucking positive tests today. Yeah, well, and they're saying Guys, there's 10 times that that are actually yeah. getting it. And there's August fucking of- like 1.5 billion people there. I mean, these numbers you have to put in perspective. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Go on to the next fastest week. growing country in the world. I have a picture <laughs> of him, and I are, I, I see a picture of him. Look, at, I'm looking at him right now, and I hate him. All right. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 pinky toe tonight. I just took a turn for the dark. Tanks, tanks, turn, yeah. turn your video camera on for the goddamn Patreon. Let's do the next story. Number three. If it, okay, actually, if okay. Randy gets this one, he might be. It just might be him and Matt in contention now. Holy shit! God damn, um, Ray. Have, fuck you. Uh-huh. I've got to get three uh-huh. in a row, bro. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Holy shit. That's okay though. I see comebacks happen. Swish. It's because he got drunk at the airport. <laughs> Next story. Yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, categories: theme parks. Right. So, story number one. You say state uh, parks? No, theme parks. Oh, theme, theme parks. parks. Right. 
I like state. Yeah. Parks. Oh, I thought you said yeah. state parks too. I was like yeah. Mount Rushmore. Let's they go. Should make yeah. state parks into theme parks, but you know. Eagle Landing. Go ahead. Oh wait, that's a national park. My bad. I fucked that up. <laughs> Unbelievable. Start uh, drinking something. Get, get in the fucking rum. Unbelievable, <laughs> Randy. Uh, story number one. <laughs> uh, teenager decapitated at Six Flags over Georgia. Uh, Six Flags over Georgia. <laughs> this Holy shit. What? One's real, one's fake. Uh, second story. Carnival game winner discovered white powder on prize. Wait, That's the real what? story. White, white, white powder. powder. White, white powder. powder. Yeah, Coke all those. Fu- I, yeah. I used to I used to do this Enunciate podcast. Enunciate that, please. <laughs> this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I used to do a podcast with a carny. All right. And I know what these carnies are like. Uh, so white powder on a carnival <laughs> game prize is that's the true story. Randy, what do you got? Yeah, I, I'm gonna go white powder too because it tanks uh, is using his home state of Georgia, and I think that he's that's a crutch for him whenever he's making fake stories. All so right. I'm gonna Good. lean powder. All right, yeah. sciencing this, Matt. What do you got? I'm leaning white powder <laughs> um, for the simple fact of I feel like there would be more like there would be more fanfare to the first uh, story of like what ride it was this category I, I forgot to say this earlier you can get to re vote I don't want to do a, full, a story like deep from the past so this is like a past story that happened a long time ago that I had oh no that's so, fine so if you, it's still if you news we guys want to re vote feel free to do that because I want to keep no, it I'll still stick with the powder oh. don't change the word going man yeah I like I like how oh, you said that right from the man of the hour I know now it's like I almost want to change my vote but honestly I would have gone with white powder like but also mm-hmm. but also <laughs> what you're saying ram that's almost like too obvious because it's like at, at a car everything's dirty there's just shit flying everywhere those places aren't clean there's stuff all over any prize so saying you found a white that's like not yeah. news saying you found <laughs> saying that you actually found like cocaine on your th- that's news or anthrax powder, don't yeah. hey be kind to white powder so all right it could be multiple substances so, yeah. with with that thought process and somewhat because i need to make it up i'm just gonna go with the first one where the person's decapitated but i mean <laughs> oh. I would, you know but but yeah, right. i'll say decapitated the- uh all right so, what do you got what's the real so, story real story is a teenager that got decapitated well, fuck you tanks over. This is the real story. (laughs) So so what happened was a kid was at a, so this kid was going at like a, at a school trip to Six Flags. The kid lost his hat on a roller coaster and then he jumped over multiple fences trying to get the hat, but then he got the hat and then his head got decapitated by another woman's leg that was on the suspension roller coaster above him. (laughs) Oh, her leg. (laughs) Oh, she punted it. it? What the hell? Whoa. I, I had my Nokia phone fall uh, off of a roller coaster once, oh, and they brought it back to me in five off. pieces. <laughs> put that some bitch back together, and it still worked. Nice. All right, so that's Nokia. Yeah. Oh, Randy, what do we Nokia's. got? We got two, two, it, two one, one. It's me with two, Ray with one, you with zero, and Matt yeah. with one. Okay, all right. So, so you're you're out way. of contention. You should just stop guessing. I didn't give myself we, a lot of credit. Yeah. Like, I thought I did a bad job of making these making up these fake stories, but hey. Yeah. All right, I'm on a roll. let's keep it moving, tanks. We got we got two more right. here. All right, let's see if we can crown a champion. Randy, keep Perfect. his lead. Uh, Who's next? Round round four. We have Southern Events, brother. Oh shit! <clears throat> Not an expert in this category. Well, uh, here we go, brother. We got a uh, Georgia Battle Royale ends in twenty three people injured. Some of them are serious. And story number two: South Carolina to bring back firing squads for executions. Which is well, a real I mean, story. We just you, they just threw Chris Jericho off a goddamn cage into concrete yesterday, Randy. Shut up, Rim. Violence. All right. Uh, <laughs> it would have been great if they had oh. the camera angle right. All right. <laughs> was that and, was and also that card, the was that the cardboard the with the printed right. concrete yes. texture on top? Yes, it was. <laughs> I actually saw yeah. that. <laughs> What do you want a fifty-year-old to do? Die on television? Jesus I'm Christ! Yes. The, I'm Matt, not wrestling the yes, stop. Yes, want to see Matt, that. Matt, Matt, Matt Hardy, <laughs> you know, you a gave himself a concussion on, on a pay-per-view, and everyone got all on a tizzy. Yeah. All right. the The real story is the um, the South Carolina firing squad. That's the real story. Randy, what's the real story? I'm gonna go Georgia since I was wrong last time on tanks. Uh, I'm gonna lean. I'm gonna lean Georgia. 
Since okay. Tanks is from Georgia. Uh, All right. I'm, I'm going to go the opposite of, of my advice last time. That and I'm trying to beat you mercilessly. Matthew? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, uh, I think I'm going to have to go with the firing squad there, brother. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Rezo. Yeah. Firing squad. Yeah, definitely firing squad. And if they're not doing it, they should. So, yeah. uh, hold on. Tank, before you... T- <laughs> they should sh- they should shoot that 50-year-old wrestler. <laughs> oh. Tank. <laughs> Tank, if, if Randy gets this National one right... treasure. And the rest of us are wrong, this game is over. So... I'm going to do the fifth one because it's a good one. The fifth one is amazing. <laughs> Trust me on that. Well, you got to hold it for the next time you play the game, right? Yeah, I gotta hold on to content, bro. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to just like let it all out, brother. <laughs> Unless you're just right. a content machine. Okay, South Carolina. What we got? Nah, you don't show you. You don't show a girl your sex moves all the first night, man. Unless like, you, hold on to some of that shit. South, you just South Carolina to bring back <laughs> for executions. Uh, the state, the, the state house voted six six to forty three Wednesday on legislation that will allow death row oh, shit, Randy. to choose. Fucking between love it, being dude. Shot or electrocuted if lethal injection <laughs> drugs aren't available. Tanks, do you have a tiebreaker? Because oh. right now we have a three-way tie. Oh yeah, that's the sexiest type of tie. So we have. So this is how we're gonna do it. Um, <laughs> Spit roast me, babe. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> <laughs> then we I all win. Tiebreaker for the. I got super tiebreaker. Okay. Um, if all right. So let's get super let's get into the final breaker. story. What is the so, final? So I'm one. I'm effectively eliminated. Everybody else has two. All right. Here we go. Yes. School news. Story number one, uh, Dallas, Texas kindergarten had a shootout with real guns. <laughs> <laughs> or B, uh, there was a St. Louis preschool fight club. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> Those are good stories. These, these are Those are all great headlines. Oh, okay. oh, man. Uh, I'm going with, with B, the real story is the St. Louis fight club. Randy. As, as yeah, my leader. cousin's from St. Louis. Yeah. yeah, i i i gotta I gotta say that everyone in St. Louis is is, is a pussy. So I'm gonna say Dallas. Shot <laughs> wow, Randy's from <laughs> Dallas shootout. Okay, Matt, what do you got? What's the real story? Oh, uh, the, the the toddler fight club or whatever the fuck. Fight club. <laughs> toddler <laughs> fight club. <laughs> or Dallas shootout. One okay. rule about toddler fight club. Right. So Ray, your binky. I, I'm I'm going Dallas. Uh, Dallas here because uh, yeah, they, the kids got access to guns. Everyone's walking around with a gun there, and you know what? Yep. Kids being organized enough to have a fight club not a real thing. Now, if you're, it's going to be some bullshit. I'm about to lose my mind if all of a sudden you're going to say these five year olds are super organized and actually have some underground fight club. Yeah, that, that flew right. under the radar of of the the, the teachers here. Okay, like I've, Tanks. you know, just saying. Uh, I Before you answer, it. tanks, don't don't answer <laughs> okay. yet. All right, here's where we're at. If Matt if Matt is correct, Matt is the champion, has to defend the title in the territory. If Matt is wrong, Ray and Randy tie, and we go to a tiebreaker. Tanks, do we have a champion yet? I'll give you the real story uh, because I'll give you the real story. Um, the real story is the St. Louis Preschool Fight Club. <laughs> oh, so Matt, I believe is Boom. our champion. New champion. So, yep. Because nice. I believe uh, teachers are mostly piles so of shit, and they would totally allow that to happen two, in their classroom. Um, <laughs> gender, so I can... <laughs> these two teachers, Michaela Guilford and Tenna Daly, um, set up a fight club mm-hmm. for all the kids to <laughs> punch each other with pole cans. And there's yep. a video of them jumping up and down and celebrating when these kids are punching each other in the face while one is crying in the corner. So as funny yep. as like, the cans? idea is. Sounds like daycare for me. <laughs> So happy that these As, I'm happy that these assholes are going to jail. So uh looks like Matt oh. is looks Matt like, is the winner. Oh, this those women are those women are champions because kids are fucking annoying and they shouldn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> so all right. Man, I started off hot and then fizzled out. Yeah, Jeez. You, uh, you couldn't handle the pressure, bro. You gotta start drinking that black. Yeah, I really again. couldn't. God damn. Uh, Thanks. Uh, uh, Great job, Tanks. That was fun. Thank you. Great stories, yeah, as always. And uh, we'll do Ooh-hoo. this again in a couple weeks, brother. We'll do it two weeks. Yeah. Get better ready next Hell time. Hell yeah. Also, uh, thank you guys for having... I hope you guys had a good time. I depre- like, dude, yes, sir. I depression sleeped all week. I had to like, rush to get this shit ready today. So I'm happy that it turned out <laughs> oh. all right. Hell yeah. No, hey, bro. Yeah, if you just want to yeah, sleep, get your goddamn COVID vaccine. And you'll sleep for a little while and have lots of anxiety over it. So it'll be good. <laughs> yeah, Matt, are you full 5G yet? 
I, I Thank you, no, Tanks. I go, I go next Bucky Thursday. Brother. Oh. Later, Dick, Tanks. Dick, 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 Love you, buddy. All right. All right. Hey, I Matt, muted him. Congratulations on, yes, on your victory. Uh, you can use that to brag uh, forever. Is that, is that Mortal Kombat in the background there? No, it's SNK vs. Capcom. Oh, okay. Because, you know, yeah, the weirdest thing. Thing. Together, Rim, duh. Look, I can't. Not to be confused with Capcom vs. SNK. I can't. Uh, they see. actually swapped both companies, made their own version. Yeah, it's hard. It's I know. Hard it's hard just. Say. Okay. So the reason I, I bring that up, Matt, all right, is because. Um, yes, sir. You, got, you, you spoke about the Mortal Kombat movie on your last episode, all right? And I haven't it's goddamn travesty yeah, of a movie. I, and like I just watched Phil Mento's uh, review of uh, Mortal Kombat this evening, and yeah, oh god, I was going to yeah. spend tomorrow watching it. Like, oh, I could probably not do that. But uh, it's not even campy it's enjoyable. The, it's not. Hold on, right, I, I okay. got to get to something okay, here, ahead. right? Yes. This is important, okay? Because I don't know what the hell's going on in the world. Is that you guys spoke about okay. the Mortal Kombat movie? I had I never searched the Mortal Kombat movie. I don't think I spoke about the Mortal Kombat movie to anybody. I don't even I never texted it to any, the Mortal Kombat movie is only spoken <laughs> at work. I turned on my YouTube yesterday <laughs> and I got fucking Mortal Kombat suggestions. Like the the cinematic scenes, like the whole Mortal Kombat eleven movie. Yeah. How Cyrax and became a fucking goddamn cyborg. Like all this Mortal Kombat shit is like just fucking just smashing itself into my face and i don't know why and so what because your phone listens man Does that yep. i made a joke again? about erectile dysfunction and now that's all my facebook yeah. ads are oh that's interesting <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah. oh never mind let's not get into that mm -hmm. wow uh, yeah nobody wants to say it on their own end yeah. for, so our phones hear us say that <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's what do I have soft dick ads. There's other media that I didn't want to talk about tonight because uh, okay. So number one, the Mortal Kombat movie is terrible. It's fucking awful. It's a, a travesty of film. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it with my grandparents this weekend. Yeah, that I can't. I'm, I can't wait to cool. watch it now. Um, uh, the bad. Have you watched <laughs> Matt? Have you watched the Bad Batch yet? Not yet. Okay, so that's another time. The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Ray, I've, I finished that. I did as well. All right, and and I heard on your last show yeah. that you said that I you started Wandavision. It. What the fuck is that? Like it's okay. like nineteen fifties bullshit. You have to keep watching. That's it. Uh, Just that. Oh, leave it at that. Just it's so bad. Yeah. No, it's amazing. It's, not, it's though, so bad. bad. No, it's amazing I, to I, the I, end. Everyone thought the same thing, Randy. You just got to keep watching. Just trust us. So oh. leave it at that. What I what I learned about Ray, Matt, and in our discussion about yes. the Falcon and Winter Soldier is that Ray is a complete and total racist, and I couldn't believe it. Like I thought I was a racist. <laughs> I figured. One. I figured. And I look not. at him. He doesn't even have sleeves. Yeah. He doesn't even have sleeves on. Yeah. <laughs> sure, That's like a telltale sure, sign right sure there. Telltale sign of a yeah. Of a racist. Yeah, that and, Hitler and, youth haircut. Look at him. <laughs> and, and, and you guys <laughs> growing up my mustache, and I'll shave my beard off. F famously, you had a disagreement on Avengers Endgame, all right, and that went through voicemails and all that, so that was fun, all right. Hey, I got to get you wrong. guys fighting over. What were we fighting about the, the <laughs> Matt? I mean Ray. Fuck you guys. You can't drink a bunch of whiskey when you do this goddamn show. Um, it can. Ray had Watch a big me. problem <laughs> with the woke aspect of the Falcon Winter Soldier, and I said to Ray, I said, Ray, I didn't find it woke at all. It, in fact, it was anti woke because. Cap the new Captain America, the Falcon says, "I'm not Black Falcon. I'm Falcon." And like going contrary. Yeah. To spoilers. All the I haven't watched it yet. Come on, yeah, man, spoilers. You, shut up. You know I haven't watched on. it yet. Yeah, he just corrected. <laughs> Rem didn't even spoil anything. He like at that point, what Rem just referenced, he was just correcting his name of the Falcon. Yeah. So and so. I thought it was great. I thought the messaging it was great. At first I yeah. I was I was a little on the edge, like, oh my god, are they really going this way? But then I understood, right? Because he had Isaiah yeah. Bradley, you know, he had his horrible experiences back in the forties. And Falcon mm -hmm. is like, I'm gonna change this. Like I don't need to put up with this shit. Like everything doesn't have to be the way you think it is, right? And Ray apparently hates yeah. that messaging and he wants to, <laughs> he wants people of color to be held down. I guess is that that's, yeah. that's what his, yeah, that his whole thing is. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he said. Yep. Yeah. yeah that, no, that's a that was a quote. Word for so word. Ray, um, Ray, please tell Matt why you didn't enjoy Falcon and Winter Soldier. Well, do you want do you want me to tell you why I didn't enjoy, it, or do you want to do you want to speak first, Matt? How, how do you feel? I uh, guess just, just I I thought it was great start to finish. So everything was acted great. Yeah. Uh, the speech the speech at the end was great because it wasn't. You know, yes. There's a speech at the end. It's ruined. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Might as well not watch it. So here's here's how I felt about it. There was okay. there was a little bit of in in the first couple episodes, um uh Falcon and Winter Soldier, they started with some nice little banter 
It was playful. Mm-hmm. It was funny. Comedic. They got good. They got good pants yeah. in the movies oh, too. Yeah, it was good. And then that just disappeared. It just disappeared after like two episodes. And you know what took over? It was just just stuff about like you were saying. It's just race. And I, and all damn. I was thinking, <laughs> was, all I was thinking was that's that felt like the the subject. Not that I like, not that I'm saying the message is bad, but I'm like I'm not trying to watch the superhero shit and trying to also care about race like i'm trying to detach from everything else i want to watch like all the other marvel movies have been fun because there's a bunch of action these out of this world superheroes and they're they're fucking making funny not, snide comments like tony stark just being super sarcastic um, not fully true so so when that's happening i'm like hey you know what i can kind of lose myself in this and all of a sudden all i'm really getting from this is they just keep going back to the theme of race. And that's all I thought was, can they stop just bringing this up? Just It just kept just shoving it in my face. And that's all, right, all I didn't like. I just wanted to get over with it. Your mag is showing. What happened in the show was... Well, Donald Trump did give him a college degree in a house. <laughs> Yeah, what do you want? You know. No, what happened was you missed the race part because basically in Endgame, every, or, uh, Avengers Infinity War, the snap happens, 50% of the universe vanishes. Uh-huh. Endgame, they fix it. 50% of everything comes back. Yeah, so now the there's misplaced there's misplaced people because five years passes. Oh, They're yeah, gone yeah. for five that years. What that lady was so now for. there's yeah. people in fucking, like refugee camps all over the world people are spawning back in their old house that has a p- new people living in it so who's gets what so they basically lightly use the race thing to basically say everybody needs to come together as a whole planet instead of just separating because basically they want to cut down borders they want to close up the borders again and all this shit from trying to fix all these misplaced people they're like yeah. fuck you we're going to deport you so it's the and then the race thing's in there, but it's not annoying at all. And the other Marvel movies also touch on multitudes of fucking like Iron Man three is all about dealing with PTSD and anxiety. Yeah, Ray. There's like you there's tons the of examples hole. of that. They, the one uh. woke thing I've ever noticed in a Marvel movie was in a uh, Captain Marvel when that no doubt song. I'm just a girl comes on and they're fighting in the spaceship. Cause it's a, it was a very girl power moment. That was a little annoying, but yeah, I get it. Girls are fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah. Girl and superpowers. Too. She couldn't do it on her own. She needed superpowers to do it. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's right? basically Superman, dude. They have to, she's so powerful. They have to write around how powerful she is that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That she, she send she's elsewhere like in the me universe. On the show. That's why they had took away the liquor and the weed because I was too powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like get some of that back Popeye's into spinach. Like yeah, one so, or the other. And if you if you would have if you would have like hid your red hat that you wore for four years <laughs> on the last episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you would have actually heard the words of the last speech that wasn't really even about race. It's just like all the governments of the world need to shut the fuck up and just yeah. start helping people. The, well, check the message this out. was government instead bad. of building statues. So the, yeah, the message is governments are fucking garbage. Yeah. Truth fuck be told, government. Is, truth be told, this is what happens. I turn it on at you know <laughs> late at night. Yeah, that's um, true. And it's kind of actually the show actually is kind of fucking boring. And so I kept falling asleep and waking up. And all I remember is like a few scenes where next thing I know, here's here comes race just strolling no, down you the can't. street. <laughs> and all I'm Man, thinking, this like, is what I deal with. Yeah, right. No. So that's <laughs> yeah. so honestly, like it, one is it was boring uh, after the first couple episodes. Like I need to and then start two, watching this the right scenes now. that I recall uh, not being asleep for. That's what I saw. Because you know what? Maybe I need to go rewatch it, and maybe you know what? Maybe I would actually change my mind. But from what I saw, it wasn't it wasn't worth yeah. it. So so Ray takes something that we like and then insults it. Right? He's like, oh yeah, it was boring. I didn't even watch it. But he didn't, oh, but he didn't even really yeah. watch it. Yeah, he didn't even watch it. So <laughs> which is fine. I. I well, that's I what you do with, with AEW, Rim. I dealt with Ooh. Dylan reviews shitty movies or Dylan shittily removes reviews movies or whatever we called it. <laughs> and he's like, Fifth Element, boring. I've slept through it. I was like, well, you didn't watch it. Well, it's not good enough to stay awake through. Yeah. And then you can't even argue that point. You're like, well, fuck. That's how I feel about Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I slept sometimes you just fall asleep. You can't help it. And Randy, like, 
I'm happy you have AEW, and I'm happy you enjoy it. Like what I say last night, did you enjoy it, Randy? And then you said, yes, I did. <laughs> awesome. That's all I care about, that you have fun. Like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's not my thing. I don't really enjoy it, but I'm glad it exists. I'm not going to. Oh, I mean, and WandaVision's all about dealing with fucking grief. Yeah. WandaVision, straight up, dealing that, with fucking grief. That's intense deep, when deep, she comes deep to term with grief. It. Yeah, oh when she has to send God, everybody bro. away. Oh, God damn. That's like, oh, <sighs> my heart. It's still in my heart. It takes, I haven't watched it. Ray, I... what's it take, like, like two episodes to get out of, like, the, the what the fuck's going on for a minute? Because I was like three. that, too, in the beginning. I was like, yeah, I was like what the fuck? This Mr. Ed-ass fucking show. Fuck yeah. this thing. But, but the second episode's great yeah. because they're still in black and white, but they're doing the magic show, and it's hilarious. And I learned oh, that Paul Bettany, so who plays Vision, would be an amazing Doctor Who, right? He, is he would be an amazing awesome. doctor. Yeah. He's like, so I'm like, yeah. this, this is total doctor shit right here. And like we can get back to having a male doctor, as you should. Anyways... Uh, thank you, Matt, <laughs> for no talking. goddamn the, the woman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It makes me want a white vision. She belongs in the kitchen, not in the TARDIS. No, <sighs> they can create a new character. There's no reason for the doctor that's to become no. female. There's, there's that's no retardous. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> retardous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Ray, this thing from Maddie, is this is, is this in any of our categories or is this something to play? Or is this uh, a voicemail hey, type just thing? something to play. Just some, okay. Something to play, 25 seconds. Yeah. So NFHC wishes they had Australian listeners like we do, but let yeah, me play this yeah. from Maddie. Oh, we have so many. We have some that hate you. Hey, Rem, Ray, and Randy. <laughs> it's Maddie from Australia here. Oh, Maddie. I had my oh, Bucks Matt Day today, Australia. which is, I think you guys call it a stag day. It's when... You're about to get married, Stag and party. you and all your boys go out and get asshole. on the piss. Why are you doing that? Uh, yeah, I had a fucking good time. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to shout out to all you guys. Love your work. Thanks. Oh, wow. So, Maddie just had his stag party, <laughs> his bachelor party. Get out there and oh, fucking so, okay. the whores, uh, you know, before he gets married. Uh, I don't you think, think that's kangaroos. what you're supposed to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chase kangaroos, whatever the fuck they do in Australia. Who knows? Who knows? All right. <laughs> what do we got tonight, uh, Ray? We got we got some thinking, right? We got some thinking. We did. We got some voicemail. Sure, yeah. We don't deserve. So, hey, Matt, I did yes. want to ask you, okay? And I, I have time here to do that. Is that um, you're okay. you're yeah. in music, right? And you're slowly, possibly coming interested in music again. And yeah. what what I did, I have GarageBand on my phone, okay? And famously, back okay. in my old Storm Ride days, like I created my own outro music, and I was really super proud of it. And right, you can hear that on the Liquor Fuels okay. that are exclusively on Patreon right now. But um, I, I started looking up, like, have you ever heard the the Axis of Awesome? No. No, okay. So these these guys, they make, like, comedy music, all right? And one of their songs was the Four Chords. And they do a song... Okay. With the four chords that every fucking artist uses in every single one of their songs, okay? So they're just ABCD. They're, they're, they're strumming along, doing the four chords, and just singing different verses of different songs. All right, and it's, it's it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I think it's great. It's so like I started Taylor looking Swift, up basically. Yeah, so yeah. I started looking up what the four chords were, and I put them into my Garage Band. I just started dicking around on my phone, like din da din da din da din da din, you know, all that shit. And then I got to thinking, yeah. like, for someone who has written songs before, which is you. Mm-hmm. Where does where do you start? Now, I was in a band once. I did one show. I played with a blister. Okay, but we practiced okay. a lot. Oh, sure little, did, got a little blister. Got a little blister. Got a little blister, blister my, my base <laughs> finger. I had to pick it like this. And it was, oh, yeah. Actually, we, you're no, a we hero. did five shows. Right? Gross. One was not at the school. Fucking soft ass skin. Okay, go ahead. Stop it. It was callous. One was okay. in front of people. <laughs> I taught myself how to play bass. Um, Fit and I, we tried, well, I wrote lyrics for a song and then we started to strum out some things and we never finished it. Where does writing a song start, Matt? Okay. And I, you probably didn't come on the show, the Rich Sigmund show, talk about music, but do you start no, with a drum beat? Do you start with lyrics? Do you just have a riff in your head that you're just playing along? Like how does, how does the whole process come together? Um, 90% of anything I've ever written. And I've released like four albums, maybe more, and like tons of EPs and stuff. And I don't know. Uh, most of it just starts in my head. Yeah, I'll hear like an, a keyboard note, like idea, just already. It's already like in there, or like some kind of chord progression, or um. So, then I'll. It's usually when I'm at work or driving. Yeah, and I'm like fuck. 
So I've literally taken my phone voice recorder and been like, <laughs> and like <laughs> so when I can get home to my rig here, I'm like, oh yeah. Or um, a lot of songs will spawn like you buy a new piece of equipment, like a new guitar, and you're just fucking playing on it, and you just stumble across the thing. You're like, oh, sick. Or um, like a new app. There's a lot of apps now that you can just do uh, like full synthesizer things. Some of the songs for our intros and outros of our show I wrote on my phone, like oh, fully yeah, produced, awesome. just fully out there, everything. Like some of the synthesizer <laughs> stuff. and uh, Or it's not really like a physical thing, but now there's, you know, digital recording. So prevalent, you buy a plugin, there's like $80 plugins and you have a whole synthesizer suite and you're just trying to check out the sounds. You'll bump a few keys and you're like, Oh fuck sick. And then, yeah, it's See, all, so it all just kind of, which I think believes bases it all off of mood and like emotion, at least with yeah. me. That makes total sense. Cause you know, the creation of music universe, has always been so kind of so fascinating. To me, go ahead, Ray. Let's yeah. get something to say. So I was just gonna say, so you're like a, a modern day Stephen Chapman, uh, Randy. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I have no clue who you're talking about. Yeah, I have no idea. All Nobody right, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. I know that's it's no. a good joke though. You, it's a good joke. You want to get me and Randy joke? Yeah, well, yeah. And I've know. always um I've always gravitated that, towards that a little bit of. Uh, I've always gravitated to a little more simpler styles of music where it's not like it's all technically proficient, but it's not shredding fucking solos for the whole time and it's impossible death metal to play or like i I like uh when bands set up like a soundscape and like a vibe and just kind of ride with it for a while like my favorite band's the cure yeah and they have like nine minute songs where the bass player and drummer don't do shit but the <laughs> guitars change like the whole time you know what i mean like yeah they create like a bed to float on i guess yeah. like, i don't know so cool. I, I, contemporary I said- christian music right yeah Yes. Okay. Contemporary Christian music. In yeah. in that uh, oh. look at this, I sent you in the last episode where um, Leo Moracchioli did the fucking uh, WAP in heavy metal, right? <laughs> the oh, metal version of WAP. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I, I, I was when, okay. I was having a hard all, time with him. I was having a crazy time wap. dealing with the man going my wet ass pussy. Yeah. That's why it was, it was fucking funny. me up, dude. Yeah. It was the funniest shit. But I was first introduced to that guy. Leo Morricioli is his name. I didn't know he was a, from a foreign land. I think he's Swedish or some shit because I just heard him talk just before we started the show. And he's like, Oi, thank you for coming to my show and listening to my music. And yeah, it was funny. I'm from a foreign land? That was pretty good. Yeah. From a fucking good. foreign land? But the Swedes, the Swedes and the Finnish, man, they fucking love metal, dude. Like, holy shit, they oh, love yeah. metal. So he does metal versions of different songs. And every once in a while, I come yeah. across an artist like that who is so creative and does different you know does something totally different it just gets me gets me moving again like I richard cheese I, I like richard him. cheese um yeah he has he has a wop cover too dick cheese uh he, he lounge against the yeah he does lounge music yeah. his band does uh, like no. covers right. of, he, he covers everything so with lounge awesome. uh, it's pretty great pretty yeah gate. so uh i uh <clears throat> fucking my last two current bands were one was really heavy, even though the singer would sing, but we still did melodic parts, but that band was so heavy. When we did a cover, we converted, uh, enjoy the silence from Depeche mode into heavy music. So that was kind of, kind of similar on what you're talking about. It was That's fun. Awesome. Yeah. We, we did. Um, we took uh, hit me baby one more time and we made a, a rock version. <laughs> so That's that. awesome. Yeah. I love shit like that. It's like bowling yeah. for soup does that too. They're fun. We did a dip, like a heavy version of Glycerine by Bush. We did that one too, and uh, and yeah. Oh, that that's, song don't even have drums. Yeah, so you that's just what have drums to it. That's it's like, heavy yeah, as fuck. You, I was gonna mention that, Matt. When you were talking about songs where you're like, oh, those guys didn't do shit. Glycerine is one of those songs that's. It might be the most famous or popular song that has no drums. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Is that? It, like, can you name what a song? Mm. That's, Especially with like electric, distorted, th- fuzzy th- guitar. It's not like, an orchestra. That's not like a yeah, Mozart, like a rock, you know, rock or pop type song. Yeah, it's that band fantastic. would have gone nowhere if he wasn't so goddamn handsome. Hey, d- is this? Is Wait, this an it smells app? like or Teen Mary Spirit Gwen. doesn't have drums, according to Google. Oh, I was gonna say, is this an app description of Bush that they're the poor man's Nirvana? Uh, it smells they, like Teen Spirit. No, became not, a song because of drums. Yeah, Dave well, Grohl's says, fucking your favorite do, rock songs do, without do, drums. Do, I don't Google know. Google fucked up. Randy, what are you and Googling, Metallica, Randy? Sad Can you just start smoking There's... weed and shit? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Eye of the Tiger. Yeah. There we go. What? Jesus. These... I, just, I just double checked. I still have my guitar endorsement deal. Hell yeah. 
Oh, hell yeah. Oh, nice. wait. These are songs. Okay. They took the <laughs> drums out of them. My uh, <laughs> like, I swear I've heard what drums I'm saying, Matt, songs. Is, is if I lived in the Phoenix area, <laughs> I'd be banging on your in your door now, and I'd be hanging out like, hey, man, let's uh, let's fucking play some music, bro. Let's, 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 let's lay some sweet tracks. When you're recording a music uh, video. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's no offense to anybody, man. Uh, I've done bands my whole life this is my longest stretch of not really doing anything for a minute yeah but uh it's been like two years maybe it's no big I deal get you. i'm no, getting I, back in the, i'm yeah. getting back in there now that i, I got went, my sweet new place i went but, three uh, years without <clears throat> podcasting so i totally understand but uh once i learned to record myself and produce the music so i could just show people a completed song that's ready to go and damn near releasable i just want to do it that way now um yeah. jamming in a band with fucking assholes in your local scene <laughs> just turns to you and the other guy that can write screaming at each other in a corner while everybody's getting high and tuning at full volume <laughs> and i can't have the fucking patience for that i want to fucking just grab motherfuckers by their whole face and just throw them against the ground like it drives me nuts right because it's always there's a, there, a five-piece band there's like two to three writers three writers is crazy that's like an obscene amount of people writing, which is nice. It'd be nice if everybody had contributed, but the reality is it's two people, two people and a vocalist that'll write their part. You know what I mean? That's how yeah. it usually is. But Jesus Christ, those other two motherfuckers is tuning at full goddamn volume. Just want to fight fucking, them in the parking fucking lot. Dylan. God damn it. So no, Dylan's like, amazing. Uh, Dylan's an amazing musician, dude. I know yeah. you don't want to hear it, but he's really, no, good. I, I know really he good, is amazing. I, and I, I can I can just tell by the way you guys talk. I know that he's got the talent there. He's, not not no. He has talent, not the talent. Yeah, I'm a better um, songwriter. He's an idea man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, on 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 the on the uh, Ghost Walk YouTube channel, there's a music video, right? Yeah. All right. We made that when, ourselves. What, so you made that yourself. So when you're recording a music video, do you have the music playing in the background so you guys know where you are? Yes. Okay. That's, um, that's all, actually, all no, right. that, that one we played, we just played the song. Oh, you did? It, but yeah, then you all the electric, um, in an elect, no, in an electric song, um, uh, uh, that was more like electro ambient music. Um, we had the click track going from Dylan. So it was basically, we're playing the exact same time as the recording. It's not like swaying in and out of time because mm -hmm. you never play the same time signature twice unless there's a click track going. So yeah, we just played it. We played the song straight up. That's just how it Damn. went. Fucking rocking, awesome. That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Oh, thank you for humoring me about the the music discussion. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Yeah, that's uh, I was never had a chance. I could show you the heavy band uh, music video later. It was pretty fun. We like you went to the me. desert and fucking yeah. had guns and. Oh shit! <sighs> yeah, one of our members killed everybody. That's <laughs> 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 fucking rat. <laughs> Uh, po post-apocalyptic fucking two people trying to find each other and it was pretty cool beautiful love it all right i once mm -hmm. made a rap song that uh crushed that's Mr. awesome Corner, right <laughs> made him disappear. Yeah, crushed him i made a rap song too yeah. once randy remember that oh that's yeah good, remember that with pat crane right no, I didn't. Well, Rem freestyle Pac rap right now. Watch, he's just as good as oh, like yeah. Method Man, and Red Man, and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> come on, that would be the fucking best if he just rapped right now. Yeah. Oh no, man, I can't. so we've we've played <laughs> we've played so many shows and I've had so many friends in so many different genres of music. But anytime I had a friend that was a white rapper, I would have embarrassment and like anxiety is they're setting up to do their set if i didn't know them what they were playing before it if they were good or not yeah and i'm like oh no this is gonna be so fucking awkward and only one friend has ever fucking nailed it and i was like okay good i i used to oh was that eminem i used to go to karaoke <laughs> <laughs> was it eminem <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. my, my wife okay we're going to Ve really quick sidetrack my wife we're going You're to fine. Vegas this weekend my wife was like do you want to go to the Avengers thing in Vegas I was like I don't really care and she's like oh a bunch of people are going to the M&M museum and I was like <laughs> they're going to talk about the blacks and I go is that on 8 mile road is that, I go is that the and she goes do you want to go to the M&M store or whatever and I'm like is that the one on 8 mile road and she goes oh, um, damn I'm not it. quite sure and she, I'm like never, <laughs> never mind um, I forget what I was going to say before that because it's actually pretty good too <laughs> 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 something about something 
Uh, oh, sorry. Anyway, whatever. Carry on. <coughs> I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. When I was in the band, uh, one of our last shows, I did. Uh, I did Monster by Eminem. I I rapped that. So, oh my uh, God, is there yeah. footage of that? Oh. Uh, yeah, there, I want. I want that. Footage there is. It's in my basement. Patreon. It's it's over there. It's yeah. It's on that camcorder. All right. So, but I remember we're talking like seventy five dollar Patreon level for that money. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I used to do Dude, a lot of clothes and a wife beater, yeah. and and so this is the thing, right? So go to karaoke at there was this tiny ass, like five foot nothing white chick, skinny little <laughs> tiny little girl, and she yeah. at karaoke was rapping chameleon air. They see me rolling. Like, and I just, and she, she killed it, but it was like, this is kind of weird. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a little, (laughs) little odd. Uh, So I feel you, Matt. I feel you. It's, it's, you know, you get nervous. It's, I don't, oh man. It was good and embarrassing at the same time. If they kill it though, and I've only had one friend kill it. Everyone was uh, cheering, so. Yeah. His name was Fuzzy. That was his stage name. I was like, they have have stage names and shit. Yeah. I never did Hmm. that. How dare people use stage stage names? names. Use your real name when you do this shit, (laughs) right? Yeah, just use your real name. Like a real name. My friend Big Daddy tried to uh, karaoke a mindless self-indulgence song. That didn't go over well. (laughs) Oh, Uh, man. (laughs) That one where he F-slurs Jimmy Page, dude? Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Well, they they, they have one that's uh, the F-slur is the title of the song. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah, when you play that three times in a row, Zwick appears. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. That's, that's good, 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 good Matt, do you remember 1998 when you could just sling the F slur like it's nobody's business? Mm-hmm. Like everybody fucking said it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh the good Absolutely. old days. Absolutely. All right, let's help some people. <laughs> you want segments? We've got segments. <laughs> it's thinking with your dickman. I got my haircut earlier this week, Ray, and I accidentally, I think I got like a, awesome. almost a white supremacist haircut, so I'm trying to grow no, it, it out. It's really good. So you can't. Yeah. It yeah. looks really it's, good. I said, it fits I said, with all the anti mask talk, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> I wear my mask even though they don't do anything. Uh, I said to the lady, I said, I need a one on the side faded up high and a little off the top. And so then she faded to like right here and like oh, just man, above she my ear. Put, like, <laughs> And like, bitch, that's not a high fade. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, I don't Ray, think it's a having? fade at all if I could see the transition on camera. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. It's horrible. It looks good when I can oh, do it. It looks up. like Kristen's it look, mom it did comf- it. It looks comfy. Yeah. Oh, thanks, when I got God. done, I, like, I had a mullet. I had a mini mullet going when Kristen's mom finished. Beautiful. You oh, do shit. a Billy Ray Cyrus in that thing, man. Yeah. My wife, she <laughs> said she drove by the Great Clips in town, and they had some passive aggressive, gr- passive aggressive sign on the front that said something like, "We can't open anymore because no one wants to show up for work due to COVID <laughs> oh, and the oh, stimulus God. checks oh, yeah. or something like that." <laughs> God damn, right? <laughs> like the store's temporarily closed. Letter, right? Dude, anyway, how many of these do you want to do? We got we got a number of them. We do got to do one because we we got to only one. Time. All right, <clears throat> so do the do the dear, one that we got in the email. Today, the, the big one. Dear the Rich Dickman Show. I mean, come on, get it right. It's not. <laughs> anyway, I hope all of you guys are doing well. Well, at least better than me. I am in a sticky situation. My best friend and her husband are doing some questionable things. Not the usual questionable things you think, wink, wink, but straight up unusual. Long story short is that they decided to open up a new business endeavor. I was really excited for them because it was a smoke shop and you know I like to smoke. Many things. I like to smoke many things. Wink, wink. So I was Dicks. all for it. That God is damn punctuation. Incredible. Jesus Christ! It's, it's I'm sorry. for real. You know, it's like the, like this like this person just doesn't never never went to grammar school. So <laughs> so I was all for it. That is until they told me the name. Come and smoke. Spelled <laughs> C U M. Not oh no C O M E, but C U M. So like many, so many issues with this. This yeah. business is also located at their house. I wonder if their logo will be a pineapple. And there's some emojis in the email because, you know, that's good. So do I tell them <laughs> it sounds like a swingers club or do I mind my business and let them roll with it? Sincerely, no. Jenny. 
Jenny, uh, tell them. Matt, yeah, as an expert up. in cum, please go ahead. Say say that basically, just admit that you're trying to open a swingers club where you can vape after. Like it, that's yeah. all it is. You can't miss we so Randy brought up come and go um gas stations. Right. The the K U M the K U M in mm-hmm. Phoenix here. They got a season. Uh, we had come and go as well, but then there was a different come and go back in the day. There was only one of them, and it was so rickety and horrible Sorry. looking. But it was C U M and go, <laughs> and they got the, and they still got a cease and desist from the K U M and go. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. Well, in Phoenix, so you can like, actually have your your swing club that you can vape weed in afterwards because it's all legal. Oh now, yeah, right? dude. Yeah. Um, I've never partaken of a swingers club, but plenty of the people in the music industries and people that record would go to them and stuff. So hell yeah, like we had swingers sticky, on last sticky week, floors. Maybe. Fuck yeah, yeah. sticky yeah. floors. Yeah, but they're all like quaint about it and know the people and shit. This is like no, you go to a dark, dingy room. Well, you fucking just put your dick you in just things. Meet the person right then and there. Yeah, yeah, just like, put your dick in things. Like your dr- <laughs> it's, it's like. It's like the munchie hmm. meal when you go to Jack in the Box at four in the morning looking for a munchie uh, meal. It's the same thing. Where you're oh, like, change to the ass one. Change yeah, to the ass one. You're drunk right? and you're like, you know what? Let's try swinging. Let's try swinging, honey. And you're like, it's four in the morning. Let's try swinging. Yeah, not not a good idea. And We've it's all been all there. the most yeah, unattractive I'm... people that swing too, man. Yeah. No, the ass one, well, Ray. The ass one, Randy. Do you have do you have advice for Jenny here <laughs> on? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> my advice for Jenny is that uh, you gotta know her. Day. She should definitely say something, you know, because maybe they're just not thinking it all the way through. Um, but if if they are, maybe they're just trying to be funny and they're high and funny. Let them yeah. let them call it come and smoke. I think it's um, secret code, man. Yeah, and if you're doing a swingers club, then that's more profit. More profit. Make sure you have yep. a heavy cover charge, yep. and that yeah. you uh, take care of the women. Like Jenny, what's so. your problem with swingers clubs? Like, like I, I assume, like, why would anybody have a problem with swingers clubs? Because they're fucking awesome. Like, I've never been to one, obviously, but I, they sound awesome. From what fucking liar tell us, I, you know, there was a swingers club here in Connecticut. I forget the name of it now, but it was open Just for several one? years. And the whole state? No, I'm sure there was many, but there was one that, that <laughs> the was The whole prominent. state. It's 100 yeah. miles. <laughs> yeah, the whole state's as big as a square. Uh, what the fuck was it? The, um, the whole population? I don't remember. It became an Indian restaurant, right? So it became an Indian restaurant. So all the places where everybody was having sex, you can had eat Indian food at. Yeah, oh, right. so bad pussy. You can still have like sex Indian there, food right? in here after somebody <laughs> fucked. Yeah. yeah. I got an idea. Does yeah. it smell the same? <laughs> Yeah, Jenny, you gotta you gotta talk to your friends. You gotta be like, listen, all right, I love the name, but just know there's other connotations that may come with it, and that, yeah, that's it. And mind your own business or enjoy, partake. It's whatever. intentional. Yeah, yeah. Ray, you got anything on this one? All all I can think is, okay, so I can't smell. So all I'm thinking is, from that perspective, what are they aiming for? <laughs> and I hear the radios on the uh, the ads on the radio about you know the, the tobacco smoke flavors and all that stuff. And all I'm thinking is like, is it a c- cum flavored? Do they have like cum flavored? Yeah, smoking right things. Yeah, like this oh, is that's this is yeah, like it's a terrible idea. It's a terrible. Yeah, it's, like what do you do? It's, you, you, it's you, called salty. Uh, you do you see what I'm getting at? Like y- your mind immediately is like that's terrible. And that's what I'm thinking, which is like, n- now who in the in their right mind is actually going to say, you know what? That sounds like a great place to shop. No one. No one. Like Wait. the name immediately turns everyone off unless you're just, a, you know, maybe you're just really weird. I would absolutely I mean, go into the edge smoke. lord 17 year old. Yeah. You would go there just yeah. to right, explore right. and see what's happening. But you're not necessarily going in there like with the, with the, yeah. you know, it's not like you're going to Disneyland. You're like, I know what I'm going to get. I'm super excited. Best place on earth. You're going in here. You're like, I'm here for the adventure. Like, it's like going to a haunted hotel. You're like, I'm just here. <laughs> a couple bucks. Cause this place is cheap as shit. Because you know what? Everyone's going to get spooked the fuck out. And, and I'm just going to spend the one night and I'm gone. I'm not a repeat customer. Same thing here. It's not a sustainable business. Maybe uh, rethink your business model. Yeah. And you know what, Jenny? Maybe you should tell them that. I, um, 
That's it's a very good uh, break breakdown of that, Ray. But <laughs> I just changed my mind. That email was written like such shit. I don't think she knows how words work, so she probably doesn't know that that word means anything. It's like, oh, we just like she we just, just playing grammar. We just the word, the spelling of it. We just changed the fucking them. spelling of She's it. She's just gonna be like, you guys, it's spelled wrong. It's spelled wrong. It's- it doesn't yeah, realize that like, it like, means something. Like toys are us. Like it, a, it stands like, out because it's, it's a back. Wrong. Yes. And Toys R Us She's went like, out of business. Look at the lotion. <laughs> toys R Us isn't even in business anymore. So yeah, you're on to something uh, there. And she's such a dumb bitch. She's like, look, the U is backwards. And this, this looks the fucking same. Get out of here, bitch. <laughs> the U is backwards. <laughs> yeah, I, I changed my I, I changed my that. original thought. <laughs> the U is backwards. Oh. I'd I love having the resident misogynist at NFHC on the show. <laughs> but that's, that's the best. Fuck, man. Yeah, so she just doesn't know how words work. Yeah. Recently divorced. Clearly. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with that word. That word is a temperature, a taste, a smell. Ah, it what, changes cum? for it changes. Yes. Cum, cum it's, all, it's, a, it's a noun, a verb, an adverb. It's, an it's like it's sometimes. an all-encompassing fucking meaning, yeah. dude. Huh? Like it is, you know, it's, it is. It checks number. all the grammar boxes. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, it's like it goes fuck. from a fucking liquid to a solid. Like it's fucked up. Like it. It's so many <laughs> things. It has power, and she's misusing it. Fuck her. Next, next. <laughs> it, it changes <laughs> color too. <laughs> next, <laughs> it turns yellow. All right. Yeah. Um. Thank you, Jenny. I hope I hope that helps. And you know, just you know, always always talk to your friends when you have a um, yeah. When you have a thing. All right. I'm sorry. Um. Good. Good email. All right, let's get into the voice. <laughs> Thanks for calling the Dickman line at 860-316-4776. Please leave a message. Uh, watch the video. After the the beep. It's voicemail. I should get him ready. Oh, I didn't delete from last week. Oh, oh so wait. Good. That's main host duties. All right. What oh. up? It's Flow Euphoria. This is the first verse of I H Y 2 L N by Zach Fox. Oh. Okay. Long Sick. pauses. <laughs> Long pauses, Randy. Bitch, what are yeah. you smoking? All my boys fired up, we in motion. Drill, drill, Scott, live life like it's golden. Control, all delete on my wrist, bitch, it's frozen. Be going raw Hulk Hogan. Bitch, I'll use heroin before I use Trojan. As he asked, boy, I don't <laughs> ever use lotion. Fucked her on a jet ski and nutted in the ocean. Wait, boy, hold up. You trying to smoke this a mid, I just rolled up. I ain't vote, but the click in here pulled up. Bitch got beef, we gonna turn him into cold cuts. I'll put your bitch in this north face. I was in the suburbs fucking on divorces. Fuck 12, bitch. I wore some crocs to a court date. Throw that ass on me so hard that the floor yeah. break. Never Get let the, the rhythm money change flow. me. But all these Hollywood crackers need to pay me. they like, damn, why you so angry? That's a stupid ass question, bitch. Slavery. <laughs> I was broke. Now I'm having <laughs> eat the pussy like hors d'oeuvres off a napkin. Fuck his baby mama in the car. I'm a savage hanging with his kids watching how to train a dragon. If a boy try me, I'm a pull. I'm a stab him. Put the yellow tape around a bitch. Steve Madden. Stomp a hoe out till my shoes lose traction. Fuck a deaf bitch and watch Martin with the captions. Whoa. Long dick on her like a Kenbe. Break a bitch back so bad she need bang gay. Only thing on my mind is wake up and get paid. I'll suck some dick to me ends if the rent late. Whoa. Yeah. Or, so should I try to wrap so that? But with what rapping? Google gave us for the translate? <laughs> no. Oh yeah. Let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's slow <laughs> you for you? This is the first verse of E Hype to Ellen by Zach Fox. Bitch, what are you smoking on my boys? Fired up, we emotion. Jill Scott live life like it's golden control. Alt elite on my wrist, digits frozen be going wrong, Hulk Hogan. Which I use heroin before I use Trojan as he asks, boy, do I, I, wait, I don't ever use lotion. Fuck around a jet ski and noted in the ocean waves, boy. Hold up. You trying to smoke this amid? I just rolled up a vote, but that clicking here pulled up bitch got beef. <laughs> what the fuck? We don't turn them in the cold cuts. I'll put you a bitch in this North face. I was in the suburbs fucking on divorce is about 12 hours with some Crocs to a court date. 
Let me so hard that the floor break, never let the money change me. But all these Hollywood crackers need to pay me like they, they like, damn, why you sell angry? That's the stupidest question, bitch slavery. I was broke. Now, I'm having eat the pussy like hors d'oeuvres up a napkin. Fuck his baby mama in the car. I'm a savage <laughs> hanging with his kids. Watch out how to train your dragon. If a boy tried me, I'm a poem. A stab him. Put the game around a bit. Steve Madden. Stop a hole out to my shoes. Lose traction. Fuck a deaf bitch and watch Martin with the captions. Long dick on her like a djembe break a bitch back so bad. Jesus. She need bank oh. only closed on Mondays. Wake up and get paid. I'll suck some dick to me. Ends at the red. <laughs> Make a sound month. clip. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Flo. <laughs> oh, I've man, I've never wondered what a shotgun tasted like more. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Shout out to now. Google Translate. Add that to my to my playlist <laughs> now. Google Translate <laughs> rap. Fuck Woo. yeah! All right. Here's the next one. <laughs> You know, I gotta give it out to Randy. I'm listening to the uh, last week's episode with uh, your guest, and uh, the beginning. You know, Randy's talking about he partied way too fucking hard on other podcasts. Now it's forever on the internet. Blah blah blah. And I would like to bring his attention to a YouTube video called Lee Syatt S Y A T T in Outer Space. And no matter the fact that you threw up on a podcast. I would like for you to watch this video at some point and realize that you were never that fucked up. You may have peaked on stream, but you've <laughs> never been so uncomfortably fucking high that the entire internet looked at that video and realized this motherfucker went past the moon, past Mars, and is so fucking high, he's going to die. And that in itself was not caught on video. So you know what? Not that bad, buddy. Keep your head up. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks, Joe. He's coming at you. Hell puke. yeah, fool. He's going to puke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't go well. It just came out. It suddenly. went so well. It was so uh, orange brown. Coming from the host, Randy. It yeah. was so I orange brown. He, he, here's the problem. Is that uh, <laughs> vomiting is hilarious? Okay, yeah. I find people throwing up absolutely fucking hilarious. I laugh every time I'm watching. Like I learned this when I was watching Jackass back in 2000, Randy, when you were 10 yeah. years old. When when uh, Johnny my grandparents Nancy, yeah. watched that with me in 2000. Thank you very much. <laughs> they thought it was hilarious when Bam lit the firecrackers on that fat Phil guy. Yeah, whenever he was sitting on the toilet, <laughs> no, that was their favorite thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was great. People throwing up is hilarious. And Randy, you son of a bitch, you did it on someone else's podcast. You didn't even do it on my goddamn. Po I had to throw up on Liquor Fuel to make that shit funny once. That one's coming in, I think, in two months. It's in two months or one month. Hell next, yeah, boy! Next month, yeah. But How Randy. No, that was um, that was Scorpion Bowls. Was we had did the shot of one fifty one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's coming next month. This month Oof, is, is rum chata, and so the, the disappointing Ugh. thing, Randy, is you didn't throw up rum chata on my podcast. <laughs> it is gross, man. It's disgusting. I mean, I've almost thrown up on this podcast. If that makes you feel any better, Kristen, could you get the napkin out? Let's see. If we <laughs> no, can. no, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, so many people loved it that I just turned you down in the background and we just kept going and you were just in the background <laughs> fucking karaoke and shit. <laughs> it was like that. It was pretty bad. Oh, there <laughs> there <we> go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a napkin. There's the Kristen and the napkin. Oh, Are you okay? Uh, <laughs> it's just a napkin touching her tongue. That's all. It is. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Oh my God. It well, that fucks him up. Just, it fucks him up. No, just watching <laughs> watching Randy's physical reaction to Kristen's tongue. It's so hard pressing to be, through a napkin. It's, it's a texture thing. <laughs> oh, it it seriously fucks him up. Look, at, <laughs> look, watch, look at him. No, it, it, <laughs> like I think about. <laughs> This will be, dude. So if he throws up right now, that no, means I'm, I'm not. two for two in experiences <laughs> with Randy on fucking camera, like in a row. Uh, <sighs> two out of three, like because he was on the. <laughs> he didn't do this it is why time. you have to show up to the live show because when this happens, 
<laughs> Randy's reaction, physical <gasps> reaction, is priceless. It is so amazing. It's so bad, man. See, if it's you guys not are as bad tw- as the Mexican street corn. Like if I if I go down oh. that path, it's way worse. Yeah. If you guys like, were on Twitch right, right now, like you could fucking have fucking human being. <laughs> Sorry, go if ahead, you man. guys were on Twitch right now, you could fucking do bit goals. Like if somebody can fucking Ugh. like 500 bits is for fucking Kristen to lick a napkin yeah. in front of Randy. Really like you guys would make it. so yeah. much money, dude. Yeah. See, Matt, the it problem would... with that is that's a lot of work <laughs> and I get no help from these two buffoons. Okay. I get nothing. All right. So it's like, it's all on me to put this <laughs> I shit out there. record the video. How many episodes that's have not I helpful? edited? How many yeah, bumpers three. have I made? How many yeah, times I made a have I showed up a couple minutes late? When are you yeah. going to give us credit, Rem, for the things that we do do? We don't do yeah. a lot, but we, we do, do yeah. some. We do do. Yeah, we do okay? do all and over Randy this podcast, Rem. shits while having sex. We do do yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah, and he told that story like, on a different yeah. podcast, Ray. He told that story on yeah, another t- podcast. I text you while pooping. Yeah. We do do a lot. Well, they, they asked about it, to be fair. Rem, they asked about it. Yeah. Rem, you need yeah. to leave Ray and Randy alone as the two favorite guests of this show on our podcast. <laughs> you need to calm down. <laughs> you know, I was crunching the numbers, Matthew. And September, right there. September of 2019 is the last time I was on, so I understand. You got two new favorites. Okay. It's just, you, you, <laughs> we'll get you on again. Recent <laughs> what have you done for me lately? Yeah. Every time we get in a good fucking role of having guests on, something fucked up happens to the goddamn podcast, and we're almost like rebooted every time. Yeah, it's I'm, fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we just started doing guests again. It, you guys go late anyway, so I gotta like I gotta plan that shit out. Like I gotta weeks yeah, in well, advance. You gotta have a little napsky, a little nap. Yeah, because you guys fucking start. Well, you, I think you're starting an hour earlier now, but like you're eleven thirty my time, and then like when Alan was hosting, yeah, he'd go for another like forty minutes before he brought the guest on. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it was like like one a.m. my first. Yeah, time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, big boy hours, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I'm old. I'm old. I got <laughs> kids. You can't. Like you, a man. You can't have little blisties on your skin for nothing. Just to have listen. I, I powered through. Up, boys. <laughs> I, I powered through. <laughs> And I, and I got that shit. All right. Well, so All technically, right. if this was our show, we would be actually, we'd be about nine-ish minutes into the start of it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would. <laughs> but still 12 beers deep. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see yes. here. What, what I want to talk, I think that's, I think that's about all we had tonight. So, all right. So, Matthew, yes, my, my, my good friend, um, mm. my podcast best friend. All right, outside of these yes, two sir. guys. Yes, sir. All right, tell, yeah. tell, tell every, thank you for, for being with us tonight. And once you tell everybody here no, at the no Rick Show, who's all, all 12 people who are listening, you know, where they can find you huh. and all the stuff you do. Oh, you guys grew. That's some yeah. good growth right there. Yeah, I mean, we had, we, we had to work. Digits. Jay was really mean to us one week and we lost half of that. But we had to work really hard to get them back. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask, like, you've been bringing that up. Like, we, we bought some bots. Lo- okay. We've Just lost you. Don't, don't really yeah. make it. No, but then, but then I got Jay back. Because the bots. Yeah, I got Jay because Jay Jay got really defensive about killing a bunch of seven year olds, and I still stand by. It. I don't think he could take two hundred. <laughs> the fucking guy, something that would break, right? They'd come at him from behind, breaking a knee or some shit. Uh, Fuck you, Jay. Well, <clears throat> thank you everybody for listening. You can find our stuff on uh, nfacpodcast dot com. That stands for Not for Human Consumption. It's just me, two friends, and some guests sometimes, and uh, you just you know. It spawned by just catching up with each other and uh, talking about things going on and like, uh, you know, slamming on each other. So, you know, talking shit to your friends as you do, your good friends. It's kind of how it goes. Is this the intro to a porno? Like, this is after the come shot. So, yeah, Ray, you could find a, us at uh, nfacpodcast.com. And I want to say thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for it's coming. Been beautiful. Oh, oh, it's been beautiful. Bye. It's good to have you back. Good to catch up, man. I missed yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, I missed you too. Yeah, because because you you bitched out one night when I was gonna have you on. You're like, oh, I gotta go to the gym yeah. or some bullshit. Like, so no, my dad was somewhere. in town. Oh, that's right. Yeah, family. Shit. Yeah, my oh, dad man. was in like, town. He man, he I did, thought you were gonna go with a dead parent joke. He, I cha- love dead parent he jokes. changed. No, my mom's been dead forever. Um, <laughs> yeah, mine too. Yeah, yeah man, I love leaving fucking off with dead that. moms. Oh wait, no, that's, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Um, <laughs> Happy no, Mother's my dad Day. actually like. Uh, he changed his uh, he changed his flight to stay longer, and that's when I was like, "Fuck, I can't go now." Because yeah. well, it's just fine. Like, you should 
he wanted to hang out longer. It's fine. Is that? <laughs> and my fucking mom's dead. I got to hang out with my dad. Fuck you, bro. Is that the same? Yeah, no, was it the same dad who like shoved your face in the garage door, or is that somebody else? I can't oh yeah, yeah, no, we've <laughs> had our problems. It's fine. Now. I'm fucking, I'm old as shit. He's old yeah. as shit. Now we're just old as shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got stories about my dad too. He never shoved my face in the garage door, but all the mental abuse that I had to suffer—that's you know—that's uh, why yeah, it's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I told the story last week about my dad dropping the gravel pit in the middle of the Daddy road. Pay Damn, to putting my life in danger. Daddy yeah, pay attention. Uh, fucking, I miss that guy. Fathers. Especially God, whenever I was doing flooring, I was like, man, I wish my dad was alive to do this for me. <laughs> uh, like, it was really rough. You know flooring's what? It's rough, man. I looked at what I have to do, and I fucking said, "Fuck that." And I went to Lowe's, and now they're coming on the 14th to fucking measure it. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> nice coming. Uh, you know what I've been doing for my Come. dad. The, the past couple of weeks is I've been making CDs from, I've been downloading Italian music off of YouTube that he thought he couldn't find ever. <laughs> right. And I've been burning CDs <laughs> and I said, to, I, yeah, he was over on Sunday. Where the fuck did you find CDRs? Why can't you? I, he, Micro my, Center. My father. From my local high school. <laughs> my, my father got my mother to go on Amazon and buy a plug-in CD burner and a bunch of fucking CDRs. All right, and so Jesus I've been downloading Christ. music. Yeah, no, it's the craziest thing. So we were downloading music off of YouTube on Sunday because I had my my son's birthday. My son's thirteen now. My God, Jesus Christ! Um, Jesus and, Christ. Wow. And I'm like, I'm like, she Dad, this is what this is what we used to do. Like in 2002, is like burn CDs for each other, man. Like you're you're 18 years behind <laughs> the fucking times. But I've been Are burning still CDs using for Napster. Limewire. No. Yeah. You're like motherfucker. You have a phone. Just put it on your phone. He Just doesn't. He has Spotify a flip phone. password. He yeah, has, or if you want to fucking keep it old school, like buy him a Zune on eBay and put it on there. <laughs> Listen, he has an MP3. I've tried to get them into technology. These two assholes, my parents <laughs> are. Like, I've tried no. to figure. Like he doesn't want to use. I say get a goddamn nine ninety nine to Google to YouTube. YouTube, re- you get all the fucking Betamax. shit you need. Anyway, oh, that's that what I've been video. doing. All right, yeah. Matt, love you, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Oh shoot, thanks yeah, again. We got it. We got to do this uh, more often. Yeah. Now Once again, that's hey, a NFHC podcast at uh, <laughs> NFHCpodcast.com. Thank you. Now that you're in the old the, 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 the old studio, are you any plans to do shows from the old studio? Are you waiting for Dylan's place to open back up? I know that's probably not a thing right now, though, right? Um, it, we, <laughs> we built that spot out, so I don't know what's going to happen, but we're just, we're just vibing uh, yeah. separate right now. It's, it's actually working pretty good because uh, the community with all the patrons and everything um cuz Dylan does the video editing and he had the worst fucking computer. We started the show 2 hours late cuz it took that long to turn on. <laughs> one time like it was fucked up. So uh <laughs> SSD. Jesus. Christ. Oh, yes. we did. It, the whole computer was just fucked. So we bought him a new one and he's been uh uh for instance, we made fun of the graphical effects of Raiden's eyes from the new Mortal Kombat movie and I was like, "Dylan, you're new to all this shit. I bet you could do a good job." So he just placed on TikTok tonight him doing Raiden eyes over Jay and it actually <laughs> looks better than the fucking movie. And I told him, I was like, you're new to this and you're going to do a better awesome. job than a fucking guy that probably made a bunch of money doing visual effects for that shit bag movie. Do you think if I gave that him $20, awesome. if, if, if he could do a, like a cool after effects thing for a stickman show logo? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll DM probably him. have to pay his ass, but <laughs> yeah, I said, I said 20 bucks. <laughs> I'll see if I can talk him into it. I'll see if and I can I'll, talk him. I'll say nice things about his family and stuff. Like I did last time when he said, Oh, yeah. really well, nice he guy. won't say nice things about his family. Like, no, he won't. No, no, <laughs> that's, no, I get that's <laughs> private. We keep that. We keep that on DL. Okay. All right. What do you guys say? The words let's, let's fucking finish this thing. Let's bring this baby home. Hell yeah. Thank oh, you yeah. for listening to the Rich Dickman show this week and every week that you did. I appreciate it. Hey, next week, guess what? We've had Matt on. Okay. We're going to class this joint up even more. We're going to have the, yeah, Matt, we're not copying you at all. We're going to have Rose Mortem nope. on next week. Oh, fucking cool. All, all of Rose Mortem. Yeah. All They're great them. dudes. Oh, I just listened to the Bernie Madoff episode. Uh, you because, should have listened to the know. Anna Nicole Smith episode that I was on because that was a good episode. Yeah. I wasn't commuting when that one came out. So. 
Okay. Well, go back in time and listen. But next week, <laughs> next week is roast mortem. But Matt, thank you for coming on. Love you, buddy, and love you. love what you guys love do you over there, NFHC. Uh, you can check us out every week on on iTunes or whatever player choice of yours. I don't know what I'm saying because my script isn't here. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, if you like what we do, you want to support the show, tell a friend. Tell a friend it's the best way to get the word about your podcast. Say, hey, yo, I listen to the Rich Sigmund show, and you should too. I also listen to NFHC. And you should listen to that as well. And uh, if you'd like mm-hmm. to see more on that, you can check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Rich Dickman. You can watch the video of tonight's show. You can listen to the latest REM riding. I did that while I was driving somewhere. I don't remember where at the moment because I had like these two glasses of whiskey. <laughs> I have fucking no idea. But later, uh, when this show releases, it will be the liquor-fueled rum chata episode from August of 2014. That's coming at you as well. So there's extra stuff oh, all the time shit. on our Patreon. Get in there, check it out. You'll love it, I promise. Um, but yeah, all that stuff. And um, richdickman.com. All your Rich Dickman needs, right? Check out our video stuff there. I'm looking for somebody who uh, who's who wants to collaborate with some video projects, all right? Maybe it's Cody, if you're listening to this. I don't want to outright ask because it's feel weird doing it, right? But if you're looking to do some video stuff, hit me up. I have some video ideas. I'm just looking for a guy to to bounce shit off of with boom, boom, boom. Um, maybe it's one of you guys, Ray or Randy. Maybe it is. I don't know. But you always Cody's so an amazing video editor. He does some of my Twitch stuff. It's fucking yes, awesome. Cody's fucking fantastic, and I feel bad asking him all the time. That's what I'm saying. But I'll probably ask him anyways. But I love Cody. Cody at Roast Mortem. Check them out. Uh, RichEggman.com, of course. Get your merch. Hit the merch tab. Get that Eat the Rich shirt. Get get the goddamn Eat the Rich shirt. If you listen to this right now, go to Amazon.com. Search Unless Rich Dickman. Unless you're fat, because click, they hate fat people. Click <laughs> Rich Dickman. Uh, search Rich Dickman and click the Eat the Rich shirt. Get your goddamn shirt. All right, because fuck the government and fuck everybody. Eat the rich. That's what I'm saying. All right. And, uh, of course, there's YouTube. And check that out. It links. There. Everything's there. Okay. That's that's it. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, listen to our friends. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit with, with Adam from Houston yeah, and Triple Adam. Jesus? Yeah. Yes. Check them out every week. And, of course, check out Matt, Dylan, and Jay at Not For Human Consumption. Those are our podcast best friends. Check them out. Rich Dickman Show at gmail.com. <laughs> Regardless of what we say, we like you guys. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> at Rich Dickman Show on Twitter. You can follow executive producer Randy at Sir Zero with an E or email him, Sir Zero with an E at gmail.com. Producer Ryan is at Ryan TRDS. I'm going to help him move back to Providence next weekend. That'll be interesting. Ooh. My mother is at Ooh. Rem underscore Mama. I am at Rem Dickman and Ray, What's up, girl? Find <laughs> you. We follow your mom, dude. <laughs> wow, that doesn't sound creepy. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Jules Winfeld. You can find me retweeting the show and uh, gifts, lots, of, lots of gifts, gifs, whatever you want to call them. And most important, call and text me all the time, twenty four hours a day, eight six zero three one six four seven seven six. Like I'm constantly mm-hmm. replying, fielding calls, yeah. texting people back, yeah, Ray. You know, giving advice. I, yeah. I mean that. Ray's thing. one of our favorite guests from this show. I mean that thing. Yep. <laughs> sexy, yes. sexy ass secretary. One of one of NFC favorite guests. <laughs> Randy, Randy, if the listeners want to join us live, what day of the week, what time, and where can they do that? That's Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern, and that's at bit.do slash trds1. That's bit.do slash trds1. And if you use the code Ray's eating his fettuccine Alfredo during the show, you'll get an extra ten percent off. Whatever is, is that from Olive Garden? The Olive Garden there, Ray? <laughs> it looks life. it looked Olive Gardeny. It looked like Olive Garden. Tell her she she makes Olive it's Garden quality food. Olive Appetit. Garden is not quality. Yes. Well, NFHC sucks Italian and Randy Dennis. fucks. In right? Cincinnati and- it is. <laughs> <laughs> right for that. We don't that. Boners and good night. Uh, yeah. Let See ya. There you go. Boosh. Boom. Hey. Okay. Right. I had a yeah. that was pretty good. I got a pee, so I had to end that one up. I had to just cut everybody off off. Oh, oh so you want to stop the track? No, you can keep going. Keep going. I might get up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't listen. It was my this deep middle finger. Little finger. Hey, okay? I got a suggestion. Randy's <laughs> it was in my a bottle multiple finger. times. Why don't you pee in a bottle or a can or some sort of? Oh yeah, come on, Ram. Sort of vessel. Yeah, yeah. Just Dubai. chug that real quick, and then you have something to pee into. I mean, oh, like if you. If you do it and you want to pee in there first and then chug it, like, I mean, that's on you, but I highly recommend against it. I got my Steerbucks cup 
when we were doing Triple T, this fucking guy bucks. sent it to us. Yeah. We thought we were special, but then he sent it to yeah. fucking everybody. Fuck that guy. What a dick. <laughs>